Hello students, this is lecture number 7. It is the continuation of origin of solar system series. So, today we will discuss about the tidal hypothesis of genes and Jeffries. So, let us begin. In 1919, Sir James Jean has given tidal hypothesis ok and after 10 years after 10 years in 1929 Harold Jeffrey has modified this tidal hypothesis and named it as collision hypothesis. So, first it was given by Sir James Jean and after 10 years it was modifi modified by Jeffrey. Okay. Understand one thing clearly that till date we are accepting the nebular hypothesis. We have already discussed nebular hypothesis is the most accepted hypothesis related to the origin of our solar system. But maybe after some few years, maybe after 10 years, 12 years, 20 years, 30, 50, 300, we do not know years after, after some years some scientists may find evidences which prove or which decline the nebular hypothesis. Maybe there are some proof that no nebular hypothesis is not right. There are some new other hypotheses or theories get proposed. Maybe the scientist can be anyone among you. Okay? So, let us understand what Sir James was thinking about the origin of our solar system. So, according to Sir James, there was two star in the universe. Two star, one is our sun, this is our primitive sun and this is intruding star, intruding star. So, the size of intruding star was much bigger in size than that of the primitive sun. As the size is bigger, its gravitational force is also greater. So, according to this, it will exert more force on star. This is our sun, this is the star and as the density, as the mass of this star is more, gravitational force exerted by this star on the sun is also more. So, now understand this is stationary, sun is stationary and rotating on its axis and this is moving towards the sun. So, when they both come closer to each other, what happened? The gravitational force started to action and some of the material from the sun had come out. It come out in the shape of a cigar. Okay? This is the cigar shaped and this cigar shaped substance which was thicker in the middle and thinner in the edges. This is thick part and this are thin part and scientists had named it filament. When the filament detached from the sun, it started to lose its heat and after losing heat, what will happen? It will shrink and it start contracting. After the contraction, it break into numerous fragment. Fragment means sukro and it divided into nine planets or we can say nine parts. After that, nine planets have been formed. These planets and sun started a gravitational relationship and those planets started to revolve around the sun. Here the filament, as the filament is thicker in the middle, it is said that bigger planets like Jupiter and Saturn had formed from the middle part and other smaller planets have formed from the edges. When the primitive sun lost the filament, after that the remaining portion of the primitive sun becomes our present day sun. And from that filament, what happened? The planets have started to form. In the initial stage, stage there were gaseous in status. These gaseous planets started their gravitational action on each other. Sun was exerting gravitational force on the planet and planet was also exerting some force. 
what happened as the sun was bigger in size it started to take its material and those materials formed our satellites as mercury and venus are very small in size they started to cool down very fast and they become solid in stage when they become solid in stage the satellites couldn't form so this is why mercury and venus doesn't have any satellite but those larger planet they were gaseous and they are larger so the cooling down process were also slow and due to the sun's gravity they started to lose their material and formed the satellite so we can say that the outer planets were have, are having more satellite more satellite as they are larger in size and the inner planets have less satellite because they took less time to form they took less time to convert it into solid let's see what was the modification given by jeffrey so according to jeffrey there were three star in the universe first one is our primitive star primitive star second is our companion star and third is our intruding star so in the james hypothesis we have seen there were only primitive sun and intruding sun but in the modification of jeffrey's hypothesis towards the tidal hypothesis he is saying that no there were three star primitive sun companion star and intruding star so this intruding star has attacked the companion star and shattered the companion star into fragments the process was so uh, catastrophic that the gravitational action of our primitive star does not had any action on that intruding star and then the intruding star faded away from the cosmos it moved in different direction and these fragments of this companion star started to revolve around the sun and after some million years those fragments have created our planets this was the simplest collision hypothesis given by jeffrey which was the modified version of our tidal hypothesis given by sir james so let's see what are the criticism related to this hypothesis the first hypothesis uh, first criticism is that the sun and the intruding star was not so close because the universe is so limitless that how can two star come so close to each other second one is the real distance between the sun and the planets are not supporting the tidal hypothesis according to mathematical calculation the tidal hypothesis is also wrong then another hypothesis is telling that maybe james according to a james hypothesis the sun has ejected some material and formed into planets or the companion star have shattered and formed into planets in the both the cases they were gaseous and both the companion star and the primitive sun are having light elements that is hydrogen and helium but the building materials of the planets are having higher atomic weight elements that is they are having silica oxygen carbon etc so they are high they are having high atomic weight and they are having very light weight they are having atomic number 1 and 2 they are very light weight elements then how it is possible that those lighter elements have converted this higher element planet so these three are the important criticism which declined the uh, tidal hypothesis given by james and jeffries so this is our uh, brief discussion about the tidal hypothesis that's all for today thank you and study well take care